right, come back in and grab your seat. We'll get uh, go ahead and get going and now with a little bit of sharing. And so this is uh, this is the moment that um, that lives on in infamy um, a lot of times for a lot of people. And so we uh, we want to give an opportunity for the dads as we honor you and thank you for coming uh, to come up and share for just a moment about your son or daughter. And uh, it, it, it's a very appropriate to brag on them, of course. It's even more appropriate to embarrass them. And um, there's uh, some that's, that's a good thing. Within reason, of course. Remember, this is mixed company and um, and all that stuff and everything. But, yeah, we'd love to have the dads come up. So if we could have dad and son or daughter or both or whatever or twins or triplets or whatever, um, go ahead and come on up. And we'd like to have the student introduce dad and then uh, – here for just a moment. So dads, come on up. Everybody give them a round of applause as they come. All right. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Good. Well, again, welcome and thank you so much for coming. Great. Yeah, we need. All right. You got two here. There we go. Uh, welcome. All right. Great. Well, uh, again, son or daughter, go ahead and introduce dad. You guys kind of squeeze in the middle here a little bit. Come on. And uh, just kind of pass the mic off as we go, and, and we'll do our little drawing here when you're done sharing everything. So how are you going to start? Your, your name and then uh, dad's name. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Tyler, and this is my dad, Mike. Hello. Nice to meet everybody really quickly. Well, I don't know how many of you have met Tyler here, but Tyler is very spontaneous. <laughs> the only thing I can think of that's really pretty funny is uh, he decided he was going to make a longboard. And I come home and I'm like, what is that noise in the back? And he's back there with an axe. And he's chopping down the tree in our greenbelt. <laughs> and he's going to make a longboard with an axe. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily. Um, this is my dad, Brian. Hi, I'm Emily's dad, of course, and uh, I don't really have a I'll just say that uh, I'm very proud of him. Uh, he, uh, you know, had a tough first year. So I'm Lewis, and I'm Chris, and this is our dad. We're not really brothers. <laughs> We've been friends for years, so he's like family to me. Um, Lewis is a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> Four years old. I'm serious. Lewis took the car. <laughs> no. We lived in Lewiston and Clarkston, and um, his grandmother was watching. I'm going to give you three stories. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he took the car, and I couldn't believe it. He got a mile down the street. He was only four. <laughs> and the only reason he got away with it, the car was in first gear, so when he started it, it just lunged forward. And, he went by, and the only thing that stopped him was dirt. Pile of dirt that he ran into was totaled the car. The second time he did it, he wiped out the entire air conditioning unit for the apartment complex. No, I'm serious. And then the worst thing I think as, as a parent get freaked out because you know, you know what anything that happens to your kid. I worked at um, a body shop here. Um, I can't think of the name right now. Uh, in Lewiston. I get a call from the state patrol. I'm freaked out, right? And the Amber Alert is going out. So they shut out all the avenues for me, Lewis to me, Clarkson, and those areas. And I'm sitting on them, and all I could do was pray about it. And you know what he did? He climbed up in a dryer and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he really did. And I think I, he, he doesn't want me to tell you this, but uh, I got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Was actually really good with his brothers and sisters, except he always won. And with 
age was as young as, and the girl she used to be would hold her head, and she'd be swinging at him and stuff. Oh, yeah, because I know how she is. Well, we went to the grocery store, and the girl said, forgot he had always been messing with her all through. Well, when you're three years old, you got a big brother, what can you do? She bit him with me, shit for bit him. <laughs> and it wouldn't have been so bad, but he screamed so loud, the whole store shut down, and every woman came running into I, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> and he screamed like a little girl. It was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> it was. But, all right, that's about it. <laughs> Senior, she's freshman this year, and it's uh, God, it was excellent. This has been this organization, you guys are just absolutely the best thing that I've ever been part of. This community is just a really good witness to nothing, just been, I'm just following my own heart. So, I'm Cortland, and this is my stepdad, Luke. So, So, we were talking about, hey, Dad, what story are you going to tell? And I have to share with you that at six weeks old, I dropped Kristen. Uh, instead of the diaper bag, I, I was carrying down a, a, a diaper bag, and I had Kristen on my shoulders, and my feet slipped out from under me, and instead of saving the diaper bag, I, I let Kristen, yeah, I let her bounce down the stairs, and she was unconscious for a couple minutes. That explains some things. So, um, CPS, you know, wanted to know some things, and you know, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, this is my fourth dad's weekend, and and so I, you know, I thought about what what do I want to say, and I just want to say thank you, thank you. Um, this has been an amazing experience for my daughter, and I can't tell you how much as a parent I can tell you that, um, you know, when I was here and she was a freshman. And so much more now today, because I've watched her grown in the church, the trips to Haiti, just the level of involvement, and to watch her flourish to be an amazing young woman of God. Um, I just say thank you to Living Faith Fellowship for everything that you do, what you have in the student ministry. It simply is amazing, and uh, our hats are off to you. Thank you so much. Hi, We've tried not to drop her. I know. I know. I know. Hand off. I'm really careful. It's great. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It is such a privilege. It really is. And, and um, to kind of sort of, uh, as a as a community believer. 
believers as a, as a church family to sort of be able to carry the torch forward and so grateful for the foundations that have been laid by so many parents and I know we've got a lot of different backgrounds and perspectives here and, and, um, and everything but still to see uh, what, what has happened is moms and dads have done a phenomenal job uh, working with their sons and daughters and, and to see that God continue to move that forward but then also some people that grew up in the midst of struggle For the drawing, we have two guest dads that are going to come draw for us. And so come on up, guest dads. You can introduce, um, introduce your dads. This is my dad, Doug. He's kind of shy, so he probably won't say anything. This is my dad, Calvin. He also doesn't talk very much. <laughs> like an apple bobbing thing or something. And so, great. All right, tell us, Kelvin, our winner is, use your best man voice, Kelvin. Uh, Brian.